Hi, welcome to another eye health episode on my channel. In a previous episode, we talked about whether screens can cause children to need glasses. In today's video, we're going to tackle another big question regarding children's use of digital devices, and that is, is blue light causing damage to children's eyes and health? To find out, stick around. By now, you may have heard of blue light blocking glasses. These glasses boast three big claims to prevent eye disease, to reduce digital eye strain, and to improve sleep. I'll be the first to admit that the validity of these claims are highly debated even among scientists, eye doctors, and experts. To start, let's define what blue light is. It is the spectrum of visible light that ranges from 400 nanometers to 500 nanometers of wavelength. For those who will be interested in purchasing blue light blocking glasses after I present my points, make sure to note what wavelength your blue blocking glasses claim to block because different wavelengths blocked means a different function served. When we're examining the claim of blue light blocking glasses preventing eye disease, we're really looking at the range of blue light ranging from 400 nanometers to 450 nanometers of wavelength. This range of blue light is known as the high energy visible blue light. In studies, this range of blue light is shown to cause the most damage and stress to retinal cells more than all the other spectrums of visible light. But these studies were done in artificial environments on rats and mice, and at most on human retinal cells in the lab. So the biggest argument of skeptics also is that the intensity of blue light coming from digital devices is simply not intense enough to cause real harm to the eyes. All in all, there is no substantial research evidence to show that blue light blocking glasses can prevent the eye from diseases. Those who take the research results cautiously and would rather be safe than sorry might still choose to purchase blue light blocking glasses for their children or include coatings on their children's glasses that has blue light blocking properties. Do note that if your main goal is to prevent damage to the eyes due to blue light, the range of blue light that you want to block will be 400 to 450 nanometers. These glasses can often give off a purple to green tint when viewed under the light. Digital eye strain encompass symptoms such as tired, sore eyes, headaches, and trouble focusing with overuse of digital screens. So do blue light blocking glasses reduce these symptoms? This is probably the most controversial of the three claims because although there is no scientific evidence to back this claim, there are those who tried it and feel that it significantly reduces their symptoms. If you fit in this category, I would say, continue using them because in terms of the effect of blue light blocking glasses on reducing digital eye strain symptoms, it seems to be exactly that, highly subjective. As far as we know, digital eye strain is not predominantly due to blue light, but more from the effects of us needing to continually shift focus, the glare and contrast coming off the screen, the need of our eyes to converge when we focus at something that's up close, and our lack of blinking causing dryness to the surface of the eyes. Rather than getting your child a pair of blue light blocking glasses as the first means to reduce digital eye strain, I would say better things to try first would be to limit the screen time in a day, to adjust the screen brightness so that it is comparable to the ambient lighting in the room so that your child's pupils won't keep contracting and dilating, which can increase fatigue of the eyes, to tell them to take regular breaks, remind them to blink, and to tell them to hold their devices at least an arm's distance away. If all has been tried and your child still suffers from eye strain symptoms and you want to get them a pair of blue light blocking glasses to try, make sure it blocks the 455 nanometer wavelength because digital screens peak at 455 nanometers with most devices. It is good to know that there is something we're sure about with what the research tells us regarding blue light. And that is blue light 
especially in the 450 to 500 nanometer spectrum, can suppress melatonin production. Melatonin is a sleep promoting hormone and when reduced and delayed in its production, it can cause us to take longer to fall asleep. It can delay our circadian clock, delay and reduce our REM sleep, which can affect our short and long term memory and cause us to be less alert the following morning. While this is all true, some argue that it might just be easier for parents to refrain their child from using screens one to two hours before bed. We all know that other than the blue light effect, screens can cause the child's brain to be active for longer, which can similarly affect sleep in a negative way. Having said that, with school's ever-increasing demands, children who find themselves needing to study and finish their homework late into the night on their computer may find it useful to use blue light blocking glasses to limit the effect of blue light on sleep. For these glasses, make sure that they block out the 450 to 500 nanometer spectrum. These sleep glasses often give off a slightly yellow tint. So there you have it. I have laid out all the major arguments and views regarding blue light blocking glasses. All in all, there is currently insufficient research evidence to show that all children need to be wearing blue light blocking glasses. However, if your child is benefiting from its effects, then by all means, have them continue to use them. Practicing good habits with digital device use is still your child's best bet to reduce eye strain symptoms and to preserve quality of sleep. What are your experiences with blue light blocking glasses? Please share in the comments section below. If you enjoy seeing videos like this, please support by hitting the like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.